Cracks widen silently on Naples' quiet streets. Steam drifts where children walked yesterday. Underneath, the Campi Flegre Caldera is rising. Eight centimeters this year alone, with hundreds of small quakes shaking 500,000 lives daily. Scientists call it brady -seism. The earth inflates beneath homes, refusing to slow down. So why does the land keep lifting? And what could happen if it doesn't stop? Half a million people live inside the Campi Flegre Caldera, one of the most densely populated volcanic zones in Europe. The area includes the city of Pozzuoli, where families, students, and shopkeepers move through streets that rise and shift beneath their feet. Scientists track every millimeter. Since 2005, the ground here has risen over a meter, with eight centimeters added just this year. Even a few centimeters of uplift can split open roads, misalign water pipes, and force repairs to hundreds of homes. The strongest earthquake so far in 2025 reached magnitude 4.4, shaking windows and sending residents briefly into the streets. In total, five quakes above magnitude 4.0 have rattled the caldera this year. But those are only the ones people feel. New AI analysis revealed more than 54,000 earthquakes between 2022 and mid-2025, over four times what traditional networks detected. Many of these are microquakes, too small to notice, but together they show a restless underground. Scientists use a simple term for this slow, relentless movement, Bradyseism. It means the ground is inflating and deflating over years, driven by hot water and gases trapped below. For residents, Bradyseism is not just a scientific word. It's the reason cracks appear in kitchen walls, the reason building inspectors make their rounds, and the reason evacuation plans are kept close at hand. As the ground continues to lift and swarms of earthquakes pulse through the caldera, attention turns to what happens if the pressure keeps building. The caprock, the solid layer sealing the system, can only stretch so far. When stressed by shallow quakes and rising gases, it may rupture, triggering bursts of steam or something more. Scientists are watching every signal, knowing that each new centimeter and every swarm could change the story for those living above. Yellow alert remains in effect at Campi Flegre. This status is more than a color. It signals that Italy's Protezione Civile and the Istituto Nazionale di Geofisica e Vulcanologia are watching the volcano around the clock. Their monitoring network is among the most advanced in Europe, built on hard lessons from past crises. At the heart of this system is a dense grid of instruments. GPS stations dot the caldera, measuring ground movement to the nearest millimeter. Satellite radar, known as INSAR, scans the entire region every few days, tracking subtle changes in elevation invisible to the eye. Seismic arrays, buried beneath streets and hills, capture the smallest quakes, signals that might otherwise be lost in city noise. Gas sensors, some installed at fumaroles and others buried in the soil, measure carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide, escaping from below. These readings are updated daily and compared against decades of records. Thermal cameras, perched near vents like Solfatara and Pichirelli, monitor surface temperatures that can spike before bursts of activity. Every data stream feeds into public dashboards, updated in near real time. Residents, journalists, and scientists can view the same numbers as monitoring teams in Naples. Protezione Civile issues regular bulletins, each one stamped with date and time, so no one is left guessing. The yellow badge on official alerts is a signal to stay informed, not to panic. Authorities are vigilant, and every change is tracked as it happens. Evacuation planning for Campi Flegre is detailed and active, shaped by decades of experience and constant revision. Protezione Civile maintains a comprehensive emergency playbook covering the entire red zone, where about half a million people live. If an alert level rises, transport is not improvised. 
More than a thousand buses are pre-staged at assembly points, sports fields, piazzas, and schoolyards, ready to shuttle residents out in organized waves. Ferries are assigned to the Pozzuoli and Naples terminals, with capacity for thousands, rotating every hour. Trains on the Circumflagrea and regional lines stand by to run emergency schedules, with priority boarding at key stations. The IT alert system, tested during annual drills, can broadcast a civil protection message to every active phone in the risk area within minutes. In the latest exercise this May, 93% of residents' phones in Pozzuoli received the evacuation drill alert in under a quarter of an hour. Messages are brief, time-stamped, and repeated until acknowledged. Each alert spells out exactly what action to take, whether to prepare or to leave immediately. Community drills are now a routine part of life. In May 2025, nearly 37,000 people participated in a full-scale simulation, moving from homes and schools to designated safe zones using the same buses, ferries, and trains that would be used in a real emergency. Protezione Civil staff and volunteers guided families, assisted the elderly, and ran reunification centers in neighboring towns. As one official put it, preparedness is not just a plan, it's practice every year for everyone. The goal is clear. If a real evacuation is needed, no one should wonder where to go or how to get there. Daily life in Pozzuoli is shaped by a delicate balance. The ground moves, but the city endures. Not every earthquake or crack signals disaster. Scientists rely on a quartet of triggers before considering evacuation, ground deformation, seismic changes, gas composition, and the depth of earthquake clusters. All four must shift together to raise the alert. Right now, uplift is steady, earthquakes remain shallow, and gas readings are elevated but stable. This pattern is unsettling, but it doesn't guarantee eruption. A common myth says frequent earthquakes mean an eruption is near. The reality is different. Hydrothermal systems like Campi Flegre can produce hundreds of small quakes daily for months or years without erupting. Yellowstone and Long Valley in the United States show similar patterns. Persistent unrest, but no eruption. History here tells the same story. In the early 1980s, Pozzuoli faced a crisis. 16,000 earthquakes in two years forced 40,000 people to leave their homes. The city emptied, but the feared eruption never came. Eventually, the ground subsided and families returned to rebuild. Today, the consequences are visible in daily routines. Engineers inspect buildings for new fractures. Residents tape over cracks, monitor doors that no longer close, and keep emergency bags ready. School children practice evacuation routes. The port adapts to shifting docks. Uncertainty is part of life, but so is preparation. The difference now is knowledge. Real-time data, clear alerts, and practice drills. Tap subscribe, hit like. Let's keep going. Artificial intelligence has transformed how scientists track Campi Flegre's unrest. Between 2022 and mid-2025, AI systems identified more than 54,000 earthquakes, over four times the number detected by traditional methods. This dense catalog reveals a ring-shaped fault system beneath Pozzuoli, with two main fault segments running nearly parallel and converging below the city. These findings help clarify where stress is building and how it might be released but researchers caution that the AI catalog is preliminary. While the ring fault structure is robust, its exact role in future eruptions remains uncertain. As one volcanologist from the Science 2025 team put it, the AI gives us a sharper picture, but we're still learning what every detail means. Authorities rely on a practical checklist to guide daily vigilance. Green flags, signs of stability, include a slowdown in uplift to less than 2 cm per month, earthquake swarms dropping below 100 events a day, and gas emissions holding steady. If earthquakes start clustering deeper, 
or if carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide levels remain flat, the system may be settling. Red flags, signals to watch closely, are uplift accelerating above one centimeter per month, swarms of shallow quakes under two kilometers depth, or sudden spikes in gas emissions. A felt earthquake stronger than magnitude four, especially if it comes after a quiet period, also draws attention. The possibility of a magnitude five event is now part of official planning, but it remains a scenario, not a prediction. INGV and Protezione Civile update these thresholds as new data arrives, always with caution. For residents and observers, the best advice is to follow official bulletins, check for time-stamped updates, and remember that science is narrowing the unknowns, one measurement at a time. Since 2005, Campi Flegre has risen more than one meter, with eight centimeters of uplift recorded in 2025 alone, and over 500, 500, 500,000 people living inside side the caldera. Authorities maintain a yellow alert with round-the-clock monitoring by INGV and Protezione Civile using seismic, GPS, and gas sensors. AI analysis recently revealed more than 54,000 micro-earthquakes, over four times the number detected by traditional methods, reshaping risk assessments. Despite this, the exact timing and nature of any major event remain uncertain. Past episodes, like the 1980s Bradyseaism crisis and the 40,000-person evacuation, show that large unrest phases do not always lead to eruption. The current data confirms ongoing pressure and shallow seismicity, but scientists agree that uplift alone does not guarantee an eruption. For residents, preparedness plans and real-time alerts are in place, reflecting lessons from history and new science. What happens next will depend on combined trends in ground movement, quake swarms, and gas. For now, life continues above one of Europe's most closely watched volcanoes.